As the world becomes more environmentally conscious, the trend towards lawn alternatives is gaining momentum, particularly in Australia. The traditional well-manicured green grass lawns are being reimagined as Australians increasingly seek out low maintenance and eco-friendly options. Whether you want to help the biodiversity crisis or you're just sick of mowing your lawn every couple of weeks, this video will help you think outside the box and explore a variety of eco-friendly and no-mow options that are available. Whether you're looking for options that look like turf but don't require regular mowing, or you're looking for flowering plants to replace turf, or even inspiration to completely redesign your turfed area, you'll find information and inspiration in this video. Despite the rising popularity of turf alternatives, it's important to acknowledge why turf grass has been traditionally the go-to choice for recreational and amenity purposes. Turf grass has several qualities that make it an appealing option. Its growth habit, for instance, is one of its defining features. Turf grass grows horizontally using stolons and rhizomes, creating a thick mat that's ideal for activities such as sports, picnics, and other recreational activities. On top of that, grass species have a unique response to mowing compared with other types of plants. There are stem cells all along the grass blade which can spring into action and start growing new plant material right from where they're cut. In most plants, new growth after a cut can only occur through lateral buds further back along the branch. That means you're gonna have dead wood accumulating every time you cut a stem. Grass is also resilient in its springiness, meaning that it bounces back after you walk or drive over it. On certain turf alternatives, such as herbs, the branches are gonna snap and die back without being able to regenerate from the exact point of damage. This is gonna to lead to accumulated dead wood. For these reasons, turf has dominated the amenity landscape for several hundred years. So lawns aren't evil, they're just another plant in a gardener's palette. You can incorporate different plants with different benefits into a balanced garden design. However, the tide is shifting. The appeal of a perfectly manicured lawn is beginning to wane as people start to realise the time, effort and resources required to maintain it. Traditional fertilisation and pest treatments can have a significant environmental impact. The use of pesticides and artificial fertilisers can harm biodiversity. And the equipment used for mowing, edging and blowing contribute to air and noise pollution. In contrast, lawn alternatives offer numerous benefits. They often require less maintenance, reduce the need for harmful chemicals and support biodiversity by providing habitats for local fauna. Hang on, before we move move on, I just want to put a disclaimer here. While chemical applications can be harmful to the environment, that doesn't make grass evil. Grasses often have extraordinary root systems that can prevent erosion, which in turn feed a variety of birds and animals. And if you're mulch mowing instead of catching the clippings, you're providing even more goodness to your soil. Let's go over a few good lawn alternatives. Zen Grass Zoysia. A leading choice for no mow lawns is Zen Grass Zoysia. This variety, while technically a lawn grass species, behaves more like a lawn alternative. It's ideal for Australian climates, offering a hardy solution that can withstand both drought and frost conditions. The benefits of Zen Grass extend beyond its low maintenance requirements though. Zen Grass forms a dense mat that chokes out most weeds, reducing the need for chemical weed killers. It's also disease and pest resistant, further minimizing minimizing the need for harmful pesticides. When you peel the grass back, you'll find a thriving ecosystem of small critters and dark, rich soil, indicative of healthy soil biodiversity. You can kick a footy on this turf alternative or sit back and watch the magpies picking grubs from your lawn. It's like turf, but you only have to mow it once every couple of years. Another turf alternative to consider is the lirio, which are plants that look a lot like grass to the untrained eye. Liriopes are an excellent turf alternative due to their robust nature and attractive appearance that offer an interesting texture and colour to your garden. In particular, Isabella Liriope stands out among other Liriope varieties with its beautiful pink flowers. This cultivar is known for its compact habit and year-round deep green foliage. It's hardy, drought tolerant and can thrive in a wide range of soil conditions, making it an excellent choice for Australian turf alternatives. Mow it once a year if you'd like to tame its natural habit of strappy leaves or let it keep its natural strappy habit. This plant has a defined maximum height of around 40 centimetres, so it won't go completely wild like most turf varieties. Chamomile turf. Chamomile chamomile is another alternative well suited for turfed areas. It's highly aromatic, which adds an additional sensory dimension to your garden. This low-growing perennial forms a dense mat-like ground cover that helps suppress weeds and reduce soil erosion. 
the care requirements for this chamomile cultivar are very small. It does well in full sun or partial shade, needs occasional watering during dry periods, and prefers well-drained soil. It can tolerate some light foot traffic and only needs to be mowed a few times a year, making it a truly low maintenance lawn option. On top of this, Chamomile Chamomile contributes to the aesthetic and biodiversity of a garden with its feathery leaves and daisy-like flowers. These nectar-rich flowers attract beneficial insects, aiding in the support of local biodiversity and pest control. Unlike traditional chamomile, which tends to grow too tall to be truly useful as a lawn alternative, chamomile chamomile forms a dense, mat-like ground cover that effectively suppresses weeds and reduces soil erosion. This makes it an excellent choice for areas where traditional lawn grasses struggle. Double Gold Gazania. Double Gold Gazania is another vibrant, low-maintenance option for those seeking a turf alternative with flowers. This hardy plant boasts stunning double yellow flowers and silver green foliage, adding a splash of colour to your outdoor space. It'll colonise bare patches in your garden without growing too quickly, so it'll outcompete weeds without growing out of control. It flowers for most of the year with twice as many blooms as other gazanias, and one of its key features is the sterile seeds that it produces, which help prevent weeds from escaping into the natural environment or elsewhere in your garden. Gazanias are well known for their weeds nature so this option is an environmentally conscious choice. However, if you're looking for a plant that you can walk over from time to time, perhaps choose one of the other options that we've mentioned. Not every outdoor space needs to serve the same purposes as a turfed area and can be replaced with all types of gardens. For example, many homeowners and landscape designers are choosing to replace turfed areas with wildlife or amenity gardens. These gardens can provide a refuge for local fauna and offer aesthetic appeal to you and your guests. While native plants are fantastic choices for these gardens, don't overlook the value of exotic plants. Many non-native species can contribute to biodiversity, offering food and habitat for a variety of native insects, mammals, birds, and other fauna. Another innovative approach to replacing traditional lawns is creating an edible landscape. Imagine walking out to your garden and picking fresh herbs, vegetables, or fruits and berries for your meals. Edible landscaping allows you to do just that. This approach promotes sustainability, reduces your carbon footprint, and provides access to fresh produce right at your doorstep. Whether you're growing a few strawberry plants or a full-fledged herb garden, edible landscapes are a practical and rewarding turf alternative. Why not transform your turfed area into a culinary resource? You don't have to get rid of your lawn for it to be eco-friendly. Your neighbours might not like me for suggesting this, but one innovative approach to feeding native pollinators is to allow weeds to colonise your lawn. Many common lawn weeds such as dandelions, chickweed and clover are all favourites among native pollinators. Interestingly, all of the weeds I just mentioned are also edible, providing they haven't been urinated on by pets or wildlife. Clover is a particularly beneficial plant to incorporate into your lawn, as it not only feeds pollinators with their flowers, but simultaneously fixes nitrogen into the soil. This encourages lush, green grass when the two plants are thriving together in your lawn. While clover is edible, be aware of clover lookalikes, because some members of the Fabaceae family are actually poisonous. And just be aware that flowering plants like weeds can attract honeybees in large numbers, which could pose a risk of stings, particularly to children. Some people instinctively shy away from weeds like clover, but their flowers are actually quite pretty when you look at them up closely. The no mow lawn trend has gained popularity, particularly in the UK, where homeowners leave patches or, or entire lawns for weeds and wildflowers to grow unhindered. This approach encourages biodiversity and provides a unique aesthetic appeal that some people, not everybody, love. However, while this concept works well in some parts of the world, it might not be suitable in Australia due to concerns about snakes, particularly during the warmer months, especially during spring. Additionally, no mow lawns aren't ideal for activities like sports and their appearance may not appeal to everybody. If you do decide to go down this route, a simple sign stating that you're deciding not to mow for environmental reasons can help explain what you're trying to achieve to your neighbours. That won't necessarily stop them from complaining though. No mow lawns aren't necessarily neglected. They'll often be well cared for with mown walkways and thriving shrubbery. There are numerous possibilities when it comes to embracing lawn alternatives in Australia. Whether you're considering a low maintenance lawn alternative, a no mow approach, or you're replacing your turf with an amenity garden or edible landscape, 
Each option offers advantages. From promoting biodiversity to reducing maintenance, these alternatives can transform your garden. I'd like to encourage you to consider each of these options and explore how they can enhance your outdoor space.